Hello, it's Azumi again, and I'm finally getting around to making a Ragnarok video. Um, let's go with the characters and gear here first. Um, but let's keep in mind that the new artifacts that we just got with the Airborne Killer and Beast Killer um, effects are really good against Ragnarok. So both of those will affect him. So we're using Brunhild as my front tank and the only notable things here are going to be the Divine Shield which is a 60% dark damage shield against for two shields for, at the lowest HP for two turns. Now the reason I'm using stuff like that is because this team is set up to auto and I'm not eclipse canceling so the people who don't have eclipse field are not going to be able to heal too good. And then you're going to have to have Chaos Rings for this. Um, and then the Fortune Hammer just hits like a truck and gives you resuscitation. So um, Probably wouldn't use the Blood Ring or the Purity Ring. I don't know why those are on there, but it works. Um, go with Sif, who's going to be my main damage dealer. And with her, this is going to be my main form of damage, period. And then also, you're going to want to use Slayer Rings if you have them because, again, Ragnarok is a beast. And so are the Crystals. The Crystals count as beasts, so that'll help you take those down, even though you're bypassing the Crystals by using Sif's costume anyway. Alright, and I got Odin, and here we got the Solar Staff, which is Ignore Shields, and then more damage to Beast. Not really too much else there. This is just a buff. And for my healer setup on Erd. And then Envy. And if you don't have Envy, use Val, uh, Verdandi or something like that. The only thing different I have on her that people probably don't have access to is the Mommy's Gun. And I, I like it because it... It's pretty hard and, and has the magic attack buff and skill gauge up for two people. So, Alright, so that's about it for that. Now we'll go to the fight. Okay, so like I said in the opening, Ragnarok is a beast and he is also airborne. So use um, your new killer traits against him. Stick 100% with light damage because most of the other stuff really isn't going to do very much. Um, he has Eclipse Field and Gravity Field, and Gravity Field is on the second and third HP bars. Um, he also inflicts Dark Wound, Exhaust, uh, Remove Barrier, which is why I used Shield Effects instead of Barrier Effects. And also has a Barrier himself, as well as High Chaos Field. Um, he pretty much hits everybody, so it doesn't really matter what tank setup you have. I'm just using strong front heroes because that's the way Sif's costume works. Um, the races he targets the most are going to be humans, elves, and Jotun. And I believe that those are the ones that get hit with exhaust. And phase one on the crystals, they reflect attack. Phase two reflects magic attack. And on phase three, the near crystals reflect attack. And the back crystals reflect a magic attack. But the way I'm doing it, it really doesn't matter too much. Because it's Sif's costume bypasses all that like you just saw right there. And some other good heroes that you can use. Um, Awaken Scald isn't too bad for this. Uh, Hannah isn't bad. Awaken Loki, this you can use him here. Um, Esquire is only going to get better when she gets awakened sometime. Uh, Awaken Freya works. And if you don't have Erd, you can actually use Baldur in this fight. So... You might have to do a little bit of gear tweaking to make him work, but it, it, it can work. And really, that's about it. I, like I said, I just rely on Sif's costume to do most of the damage.
and health does get a little bit low sometimes because of the eclipse, but right there when he does his little dive in the sky and then gets counterattacked and dies. And thank you for watching and have a great day.